1967, Mike Nichols directed The Graduate, a film that became a defining piece of cinema with its unique blend of romance, comedy, and drama. Adapted by Buck Henry and Calder Willingham from Charles Webb's 1963 novel, the story captures the essence of post-college uncertainty and the complexities of relationships. It resonated deeply with audiences, making it a standout film of its time. The Graduate, a film released in 1967, centers on the character Benjamin Braddock, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman. After completing his college education, Benjamin returns to his family home, where he faces the pressure of defining his future path. The narrative captures his struggle with societal expectations and his own uncertainty about the direction his life should take. As he navigates through a series of events and relationships, the film delves into themes of self-discovery and the complexities of transitioning from adolescence to adulthood. The Graduate stands out for its exploration of the protagonist's internal conflict and the choices he confronts in the face of life's uncertainties. In The Graduate, Benjamin Braddock, fresh from college and uncertain about his future, returns home to a celebratory party thrown by his affluent parents. Amidst the festivities, he is cornered by Mistress Robinson, the wife of his father's business partner. She seduces him, initiating an affair that Benjamin reluctantly continues, driven by a mix of curiosity and aimlessness. As the summer progresses, Benjamin's discomfort with the liaison grows, culminating in a request from his parents to take out Elaine Robinson, Mistress Robinson's daughter, on a date. Despite Mistress Robinson's vehement objections and manipulative efforts to prevent it, Benjamin and Elaine connect on a deeper level, leading to romantic feelings. This new relationship complicates the dynamic further, as Benjamin must navigate the turbulent waters of his emotions and the consequences of his earlier actions with Mistress Robinson. The affair and its fallout become a defining moment in Benjamin's journey to adulthood, forcing him to confront his values, desires, and the societal expectations placed upon him. The Graduate, released in December 1967, quickly rose to prominence, captivating audiences across the United States and Canada. Its appeal was reflected in the substantial box office revenue, amounting to approximately $104 million. The film's success extended beyond financial gains as it garnered critical acclaim and recognition from the Academy, earning nominations in seven categories. This achievement highlighted the film's excellence in storytelling, direction, acting, and technical execution, securing its place as a significant work in the history of cinema. The Graduate's performance at the box office and the Academy Awards underscored its widespread acceptance and the profound connection it established with viewers, making it a standout film of its era. In the 1967 film, The Graduate, director Mike Nichols encountered significant challenges in securing funding for the project. His limited recognition in Hollywood at the time posed a substantial obstacle. However, producer Joseph Lavine saw potential in Nichols' work, largely influenced by Nichols' connection with the esteemed actress Elizabeth Taylor. Lavine's decision to finance the film was pivotal, allowing Nichols to bring his vision to the screen. This support was instrumental in the creation of a movie that would become a defining piece of American cinema and elevate Nichols' status as a filmmaker. And the casting process for the character of Mistress Robinson in the 1967 film The Graduate, director Mike Nichols had a specific vision that drew inspiration from a common trope. He initially considered casting French actress Jean Moreau for the role. The choice was influenced by the stereotype that older French women often play a role in the sexual education of younger men. This concept was a driving factor in Nichols' early casting considerations. However, the role of Mistress Robinson was highly sought after, and many actresses were evaluated for the part. The casting process was thorough, reflecting the importance of the character in the narrative of the film. Ultimately, the role went to Anne Bancroft, who brought Mistress Robinson to life with a performance that became a defining feature of the movie. Her portrayal contributed significantly to the film's success and the character's lasting legacy in cinema history. Dustin Hoffman, approaching his 30s, found himself auditioning for the role that would become one of his most notable performances in The Graduate. At the time, he was already engaged in another project, The Producers, directed by Mel Brooks. Despite his growing experience on stage and screen, Hoffman had not yet tackled a romantic lead, particularly one that involved love scenes. This presented a personal challenge as he questioned how well he would connect with Catherine Ross, who was cast as his love interest. 
His concerns were not just about the chemistry with Ross, but also about whether audiences would find him believable in such a role. Hoffman's casting in The Graduate was a significant departure from traditional leading men of the era, which typically featured tall, suave, and conventionally handsome actors. His selection for the part marked a shift in American cinema, reflecting a broader range of male leads that could resonate with audiences. Hoffman's performance, characterized by its authenticity and vulnerability, would ultimately contribute to the film's success and establish him as a talented actor capable of carrying a complex and unconventional role. Anne Bancroft's portrayal of Mistress Robinson in The Graduate is a powerful representation of a woman who has surrendered her identity for the sake of security. Bancroft was drawn to the role due to director Mike Nichols' vision of Mistress Robinson as a character whose choices reflect a significant theme of personal compromise. This aspect of Mistress Robinson's character resonates throughout the film as she navigates the consequences of her decisions and their impact on her relationships, particularly with the young protagonist, Benjamin Braddock. Bancroft's performance brings depth to the character, making Mistress Robinson a memorable and pivotal figure in the narrative. Her portrayal underscores the societal pressures and personal sacrifices that can lead individuals to forsake their aspirations and desires for perceived stability. In the 1967 film The Graduate, the casting of Catherine Ross as Elaine Robinson, the daughter of Mistress Robinson played by Anne Bancroft, was a significant aspect of the film's dynamic. Despite the on-screen portrayal of a typical mother-daughter age gap, the reality was that Catherine Ross was only eight years younger than her co-star Bancroft. This close age proximity was not widely known at the time due to the absence of accessible public records and the internet. The film's production team, aware of this fact, capitalized on Ross's youthful appearance and acting ability to convincingly depict her as the much younger Elaine. This casting choice added a layer of complexity to the character's interactions particularly in the context of the film's exploration of misguided passion and the defiance of social norms. The age difference, or lack thereof, between Ross and Bancroft remained a little-known piece of trivia for years, coming to light only as information became more readily available to the public. In the 1967 film The Graduate, a notable scene unfolds within the confines of a church. Here, the character played by Dustin Hoffman is required to perform an action of knocking. However, the force of his knocks posed a risk to the physical integrity of the location. To mitigate this, the production team directed Hoffman to moderate the intensity of his knocking. He was instructed to knock softly while extending his arms outward. This particular gesture, though intended purely to preserve the location structure, was later interpreted by some viewers as having religious symbolism, likening it to a representation of Christ. This unintended interpretation highlights how certain actions on screen, regardless of their original intent, can take on additional meanings in the eyes of the audience. In The Graduate, the choice to refer to the younger characters by their first names serves as a subtle narrative device. This approach contrasts with the more formal address of the older characters, underscoring the social and emotional divide between the two generations. The film's protagonist, Benjamin, is often called by his first name, which reflects his status as a recent college graduate and a young man at a crossroads in life. This naming convention extends to Elaine, the object of Benjamin's affection, further emphasizing their youth and the societal expectations placed upon them. Meanwhile, characters like Mistress Robinson are referred to more formally, which not only highlights their authority and experience, but also creates a sense of distance and unfamiliarity, mirroring the disconnect Benjamin feels with the adult world. This distinction in naming is more than a mere stylistic choice. It is integral to the film's exploration of the challenges of young adulthood and the pressures of societal norms. In the 1967 film, The Graduate, the music plays a significant role in setting the tone and enhancing the narrative. Paul Simon, already an established musician, was approached to contribute original compositions for the movie's soundtrack. Under the direction of Mike Nichols, Simon agreed to write three new songs. However, during the film's production, Nichols felt that more material was needed to fully capture the film's essence. He urged Simon for an additional song, which led to the creation of Mistress Robinson. This song would go on to become one of the most memorable aspects of the film, reflecting the themes of disillusionment and the search for identity that are central to the story. 
Simon's music, particularly Mistress Robinson, not only complemented the film's atmosphere, but also left a lasting impression on popular culture, becoming synonymous with the film itself. In the 1967 film The Graduate, one of the most memorable scenes is where Benjamin Braddock, played by Dustin Hoffman, is seduced by Mistress Robinson, portrayed by Anne Bancroft. However, in the iconic visual where Benjamin is framed by Mistress Robinson's leg, it is not Bancroft's leg that is shown. Instead, the leg belonged to Linda Gray, who later gained fame on the television series Dallas. For her part in creating one of the movie's most lasting images, Linda Gray was compensated with $25. This scene has become one of the defining moments of the film, symbolizing the sexual tension and the generational divide that are central themes in the story. The choice to use a body double for this particular shot was not uncommon in the industry at the time and remains a practice in modern filmmaking. Despite the substitution, the scene effectively conveys the allure and authority Mistress Robinson has over Benjamin, setting the stage for the complex relationship that unfolds throughout the movie. During Dustin Hoffman's audition for The Graduate, his unorthodox method of engaging with co-star Catherine Ross was a bold move that risked his chances of securing the role. His actions, which included an impromptu pat and pinch, were unconventional and could have been seen as inappropriate, potentially jeopardizing his opportunity. However, director Mike Nichols perceived this behavior as perfectly embodying the character's social awkwardness. Nichols believed that Hoffman's natural inclination towards such an unpredictable and uncomfortable interaction mirrored the essence of Benjamin Braddock's character, who is often out of his element and struggling with societal expectations and self-discovery. This alignment with Braddock's persona ultimately worked in Hoffman's favor, securing him the role that would become a defining moment in his career.